guys and welcome back to my channel today we're going to do a haul i don't do hauls very often but when i do they're quite big <laughs> but i did buy a christmas gift for myself from beauty bay here and then i got some goodies from blush tribe that i have been eyeing in quite some time so let me start off with blush tribe because that is not a part of my christmas gift for myself the first thing that i haven't shown on my channel yet but i have on instagram is my blush tribe hasina 2 palette i saw this floating around on instagram from a few accounts and then i saw angelica from angelica newquist i believe her name is she did a review on this palette and it was quite good and the girls on instagram told me it was very very nice as well so i bought it I bought one from my best friend as well for her birthday, so I thought it was a good, a good buy. It's quite affordable if you think about it. So the inside is looking very much like the outside painting, which is stunning. And this is the inside. I have just been very inspired by colors lately and green, blues and purples are Colors that I really want to experience with. I have a purple kind of eye on today and I really, really enjoy it. It's not from this palette, but it could have been. But it wasn't. It is my Panda palette. <laughs> I was just really excited for a palette that was amazing without any browns in it. So there's 14 shades and 7 of them is shimmers. These 7 right here and then these are mattes. Which is so nice i got that one and the uh, the same palette for my best friend and then she selma the owner or creator of blush tribe the indie brand she included a shimmer glitter pigment thing with my order which was so nice of her i don't know if it was because my gift was late because it was a birthday gift i don't know but she included that and i'm very excited my last order from blush tribe was just before Christmas or just after Christmas. It was a part of the Boxing Day sale and I got the Paulina palette from Blush Tribe. And this was a limited edition and I was just like, OMG, I need that palette in my life. That is so beautiful. And I restricted for a long time and then I just, I had to when the sale came with 30%. And it was very affordable to begin with. So this is the palette. And Paulina is amazing. I do follow her on YouTube and on Instagram. So I thought it was a perfect way to support her. That's the word. So she is a Swedish YouTuber. And yeah, she is amazing. And she is amazing with color. And this is just so inspiring, this palette. It's unique. And it is unique to my collection. Including the Hasina palette. They are truly worth it yeah the last order i couldn't resist i got two pigments and they are called titanium dust and they come in these small boxes which is so cute they're called genie and cave of wonders and they are kind of duochrome let me see if i can show you let me see if i can this one is genie it's like an orange pinky gold color and this is Cave of Wonders. It's beautiful greeny gold color. That's everything I got from Blush Drive and now we're going to check out my Beauty Bay order. Yeah, I was waiting for a specific palette to come into stock again. And unfortunately it came in stock the day after some of these items was on sale, which is so sad but i really wanted this palette before i bought these other items and the palette is the bh cosmetics zodiac palette i have just heard lucia chipa beauty is that what you're called on youtube lucia have raved about this palette and it is beautiful and i just couldn't resist and it was pretty affordable as well bh cosmetic it's not that expensive so it comes with 25 eyeshadows and a highlighter. The outer rim is baked shimmer shadows and the inner rim is matte shadows. And then there's a highlighter here in the middle. Lucia says that the shimmers here, the baked ones, are 
best with fingers so that is what I think I'm going to do but yeah I'm just really really excited and it is so beautiful I have swatched some of the colors in every palette that I have gotten and they are so pigmented and I'm so excited about what I have gotten and then other one is the BH Cosmetics Fe Weekend Festival palette. I, I had to. <laughs> it's just so stunning. I love any kind of festival and the color scheme and the picture here on the front. It was just to die for. And then the inside, it spoke for itself. I had to have it. I had to have it because it was half colorful, half neutral, and that is what I actually prefer in a palette because I really like my goals and my oranges but I really enjoy a purple color as well but I just thought this was perfect because it was half half then I got a single shadow from colored rain I have never tried colored rain I was quite excited that they were in beauty bay and I was looking for a shadow or a shade that I didn't have in my collection already and a shadow that I really wanted to have in my collection I have a type of shade in my Too Faced Chocolate Bar, but that Gilda Gars shade, that is not green. So I wanted a, an olive green shade, and I just wanted it in, in a single. And because I was on Beauty Bay, I know MAC does a really nice one, but I was on Beauty Bay and I saw color range, so why not? So I picked this one up, and it is called Side of Olive. So it has some gold in it and it is a shimmer and I didn't want a matte color because I have so many mattes that compare with this. I just really wanted this kind of color so I thought it was a good choice to get it in a single form. Then we have a BH Cosmetics, yep I'm not done, <laughs> a BH Cosmetics Eye Light, right? Eye Lights, the waterproof eye color in... Color are you in? What color are you? Well, I believe it is a part of the weekend festival collection thingy thingy with BH Cosmetics. And this is the one. It is a beautiful color. I think it's very very similar actually to, to this. <laughs> the, uh, the loose pigment from Blush Tribe. Not quite, but you know, aren't she gold? It is my thing. I love my orange gold and covery bronzy shades. It's just beautiful and I can't wait to use it. So it is a liquid cream shadow on this kind of applicator. And I don't mind that at all. I love my cream shadows a lot. And I use them quite fast, so I don't mind. So I have one sponge left of the Real Techniques one. And it's almost dead. What, what, what are you doing? Stop that. I wanted to try a new sponge and that is the BS Studio Pro from BS Cosmetics. The black sponge that they have. It's not very expensive so I thought why not try a new one even though I'm very committed to my Real Technique ones. So it is looking like this. I've not had the best luck with sponges besides of the Real Techniques. So I'm very excited but this is very very soft when it's dry. So I have really good hopes for this being very nice and soft when it gets wet. So the last item I have it is a skincare product, which is leaking everywhere. <laughs> nice. It is the Mario Badesco Drying Lotion. I am dealing with spots and pimples and stuff like that on kind of a regular basis. Uh, even on period and off period sometimes. And I'm still kind of young just turned 24 so I still get breakouts now and then so I thought I wanted a drying lotion to calm them down um, I don't expect them to go away but I want them to get smaller and this is working I have used this for a few weeks now every single night I do on the pimples I can see and I try to fill my face and then I know where the pimple are even though I can't see it and I got it in the plastic bottle I know you can get it in a glass one and I guess that is better for the environment but I thought it was a good choice to get the plastic one if I wanted to travel because the glass one can break so I got the plastic version even though I know you shouldn't buy plastic all the time I'm really really happy with this it is not a very cheap one 
uh, but it's not overly uh, expensive either and you don't go through this very fast. So this lasts forever and I'm very grateful because it has worked and drying out my pimples. That was everything for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really enjoyed chatting with you guys uh, about my new stuff. I don't plan on buying a lot more stuff uh, in the future, not makeup wise. I do have a lot and I want to go through more than I did last year. From now on, I am not a W7 ambassador anymore. If you don't know, I have been for the past past year and a half and I have gotten a lot of stuff and most of my collection is W7 because I have gotten that much and I have gotten rid of a lot and I have tried to use stuff up that wasn't W7 because I bought it with my own money but now that I'm not a W7 ambassador I don't get things into my collection um, unless I buy it myself so that is a good thing so I'm not planning on doing a low buy or no buy because I'm pretty good at not buying a ton of stuff just to buy them you know these items i have bought in this haul was on my list wish list for most of 2018 and then i just splurged over christmas because i because of my surgery and i felt bad for myself and i just thought i deserved a little treat i think i deserved it by graduating and then just going through the surgery which was very very hard and I'm still recovering I'm doing fine and I do have an update for you guys uh, it's very very late I filmed it before Christmas so if you want to see an update on how I'm doing I, I feel kind of the same way as I'm telling in that video or saying in that video so I guess that's fine but if you want that please let me know I have been here for way too long so I hope you guys are going to follow along on my channel I have a lot planned for you 2019 that is panning related and non panning related so I hope you guys are going to follow along and until my next video please take care